Hi friends, in this video, I will be solving some questions for you guys using Law of Indices. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel and click on the notification button. Suppose we have 3 raised power of x equal 9 raised power of x plus 5. What I'm going to do in this case is that we have 3 here, right? And also we have 9 here right so and if i'm asked to find the root of nine root of nine is what is still right then if i'm asked to, to eliminate this root of nine i'm going to have this word to be i will square both sides then as squaring both sides i'm going to have root of nine squared equals what three squared then this will cancel this i'm going to have it was nine equals what three squared so since nine is equal to three squared now this is what i'm going to do i'm going to equate this 9 equals 3 squared. This 3 squared, I'm going to take it as, well, as this 9. So I'm going to have this word 3 raised power of x equals what? 3 raised power what? of 2 into bracket x plus 5. Right? So now you cannot recall from the law of indices that whenever we have 3, whenever we have a raised power m into bracket n, or we have it what? a raised power m into bracket n. Right? So this is actually. We are going to use this m to multiply the n. That means I'm going to use this two to open all these brackets. So that I'm going to have to 3 raised to the power x equal 3 raised to the power. Now, 2 multiply this is what? 2x. Then 2 multiply this is what? Plus 10. So this and this we can out since both are having what? The same base. Both base are the same. So and here I'm going to have this word. Bring the power down. x equals what? 2x plus 10. Right? Then here, if you bring this to the side, I'm going to have what? Minus 2x plus x equals what? 10. So here, I'm going to have what? Minus x equals what? 10. Then therefore, x equals what? Minus 10. Exactly. Now, let's check the second one. The second one, we are giving 4 raised power what, of x plus 1, right? Is equal to raised power of x minus 1. So, the same process, I'm going to apply it here. My 2 is actually 4. It's actually the same thing as writing what? 2 squared, right? So, 2 squared is equal to 4. Then, I'm come back here. That's 2 raised power of 2 into brackets x plus 1 equal 2 raised power x minus 1, right? So, this, we cancel this. Then, I'm going to have it what? 2 into bracket x plus 1 equals what? x minus 1. So, here, that's 2x. 2 multiplied by 1 plus 2 equals what x minus 1 so now let's collect the like time so collecting the like times here we are going to have it to be what to be that's 2x then here will be minus x here equals what minus 1 then this will come to this side that i'm going to have to what minus 2 then 2x minus x is actually what x equals what minus 1 minus 2 is actually what minus 3 then our s is equals what minus 3 and x is equal to what? Minus 10 in this case. Now let's move to the last one, which is 3 exponential 3 raised power x equals to 9 raised to power 2x minus 3, right? Into bracket 27 raised to power 1 minus 3x, right? So the question is very simple. So what we just have to do is that we come back here, we express all these base. In terms of what of this first b which is 3. Now let's check we can express our 9 as what as 3 raised to the power of 2 and our 27 as 3 raised to the power of what of 3. So now I will simply have it what 3 raised to the power of x equal that's 3 raised to the power of 2, right? Into brackets 2x minus 3, right? This is minus 3. Then here I will have it what multiplying this is actually 3 raised to the power of 3 into brackets 1 minus x right so now what i'm going to do in this case is that i'll go ahead and, and simplify for that so simplifying this expression i'm going to have to what 3 raised power of x equal here i'm going to have to what 3 raised power of what 2 multiply this is actually 4x 2 multiply this is actually minus 6 then multiply again by 3 raised power of what 3 multiply by 1 is what is 3 then 3 multiply by minus 3 that's actually what minus 9x right so now i can now recall Again, another law. Whenever I have a raised to power m multiplying a raised to power n, that's equals to what? a raised to power m plus n. 
right? So now in this case, I'm going to have it to be, to be that's actually 3 raised power x equal, now, this and this, I'm having it to one base, single base. That's 3 raised power 4x minus 6. Then since this is plus, then I'm going to have it to what? Plus 3 minus 9x. So now I'm simplifying this for that. Or let me just go ahead and just say this cancel this. Then I'm having it to what? x equals what? 4x minus 6 plus 3 minus 9x. So what I'm going to do in this case is that I will collect like times. Here I'm going to have it to what? I'm going to bring all x is to this side. Then I'm going to have it to what? Minus 9x coming to this side. That's actually what? 9x. Then this will be what? Minus 4x plus x equals what? Minus 6 plus 3. That's what? That's minus 3. Right? Then here I'm going to have it to what? 9x minus 4x. That's actually 5x plus this is actually 6x equals what? Minus 3. Right? Then divide both sides by 6. Divide both sides by 6. This will cancel this. Then I'm going to have this word to be s equals what? Minus 1 over 2. Because 3 goes in this, that's 1. And 3 goes in this, that's what? 2. The map is what? Minus 1 over 2. So that's just the answer to the question given to us. So if you enjoyed this video, please and please kindly click on the social button. That's the only way you can support me and this academy. So if you want me to solve any question for you, kindly drop the question in the comment box below. And if you haven't watched my previous video and explanation on law of indices, kindly go click on the description below and you will see the uh, link. I'll drop the playlist link in the description below. I will drop the playlist link in the description below. So check it out. Thanks for watching.